Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Abby Bliss White. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you have been watching my channel for a little bit, welcome back. Um, today I was going to go ahead and do my go-to eye look. Super easy, kind of clean eye look. And I was going to be using these lovely Marc Jacobs Omega um, Omega Big Eye <laughs> uh, eyeshadows. Um, I'm going to use a couple different things, but I have to tell you, I'm in love with these guys. I think they're fantastic. And so I wanted to go ahead and show you this basic eye clean, kind of clean eye look that is my kind of go-to. So if you are interested in watching that, please go ahead and watch next. Okay guys, let's go ahead and do my everyday sort of clean eye. Um, so I was just telling you a couple of the things that I picked up at the Sephora VIB sale was these Marc Jacobs Omega Eye um, eyeshadows. So these are singles and I went back and I went and got the perfect crease shade. This is Big O. This is the one that I originally meant to purchase and then I decided to go ahead and keep Daddy O because I think it's such a pretty color and I feel like it can really um, kind of do a whole eye look to it. So today I just wanted to show you a few things and we're also going to use the Hourglass Scattered Lights. Um, and let's go ahead and do a quick and easy clean eye. So one thing that they did have that I did not purchase was they had sort of a bone colored vanilla cream color in a big pot. I don't tend to use that a whole lot. Um, I'm gonna put down, I already feel like I have, oops, as I throw all the brushes around. <laughs> I feel like I already have some of that those colors. So today I'm going to start by using the bone color in my Coco Mirage here. I'm going to go ahead and put that down as my base color. But if you are looking for like you like the idea of, you know, buying those single shadows, I think that would be great for um, I just these are gel formula. They last 24 hours. Okay, we are just putting down, I'm hoping you guys can see. I'm gonna have to look at the mirror just a little bit, so I am gonna tilt you down just a little bit here. Oops, okay. Let's see if you can see there. Okay, so I'm just putting the bone color all over my lid. And that's just gonna be the base color. And again, they have one, it's called Primo, that you could buy from them. Okay, next up, we're gonna use my favorite, you guys. This is the Big O, and I just wanna show you what a fantastic color this is. So you guys, I just, I love those kind of single shadows, like the whole purpose behind this whole eyeshadow line. Actually, we're gonna use, the, it comes with a very nice large mirror here. Um, but I just smudged it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna come in here, you guys. I'm using Wayne Goss number 16, a big fluffy brush. And I'm gonna come right in. Wow, look at how pigmented that is. I'm coming right in the socket here. I mean, isn't this like the perfect? This is described as a light brown um, matte, uh, kind of a, and it does seem to have like a little peachy like I was worried that this wouldn't have enough color sometimes these light ones don't pay off but obviously isn't that a great color oh man that seemed to uh, just realize I dipped lightly but it definitely <laughs> let's just go ahead tap off as you can see a little kick off here I'm gonna do the other eye so I'm just gonna kind of come right in here and where that crease is and can you see how perfect of a color this is maybe you can't but i just love those basic um this is something that i would use every single day and that is the okay can you see that isn't that such a great color i also feel like it just made my eyes pop just a little bit i'm just gonna come over here so i'm just coming through the crease just a little bit and then now i'm just gonna fan it out Okay, 
just like that. And this would often be, you guys, right what I would just totally wear. I would put a little eyeliner and mascara on and then be totally done for the day. Um, okay, I'm just gonna keep, sorry. Blending is the key. And again, I cannot emphasize how much I love these Wayne Goss. Um, I got the eye set from at Beautylish and I absolutely, these brushes are perfection. Um, okay, let's move on. I am gonna move on to Wayne Goss. Actually, I'm gonna go a smaller one. I'm gonna take a Wayne Goss number 20. So this is like this little smaller um, edge over here. And now we are gonna pop into, that is big oh. Let me just show you what that looks like. Isn't that a great color? Okay, that's like a very like my go-to. Next I'm coming into Daddy-O, which is a little bit deeper. So I, when I first bought this, um, I meant to grab Big O, but I did the wrong one. So this is right here is um, Big O over on the side, and then this is Daddy-O. And I'm just gonna wipe just a little because I am gonna go in and I'm just going to come at the inner V, just deepen this up just a little bit. And then I'm even gonna put this underneath my eyes, guys. I tend to not do that, but um, we're gonna do that today. Okay, take a little bit more off my hand. And I apologize for background noise. It is garbage day. So I'm just taking and I'm intensifying the V right here just like that. I'm gonna take a peek in the mirror. Whoa, I'm having a good day today with you. Yes, this is like just a very simple, clean looking eye. And I am going to now just take the leftover and I'm gonna go right underneath and just slightly give it a um, underneath the eye. So I don't tend to, I tend to leave that clean, but I've been, um, you know, I tend not to put eyeliner. I will do a little eyeshadow. Okay, can you see this is just like a very simple, clean eye. I'm gonna close my eyes for you. And I am gonna take that fluffy brush again, you guys. Actually, I'm gonna take a bigger fluffy brush that is clean from MAC. This is 224. And then I'm just gonna blend all of this together. Um, and then we will add on a little bit of prettiness. And from the hourglass, we're gonna put reflect on. Okay, here we go. Super pretty. Okay, nice simple eye. Okay, next thing, I wanna use these beautiful this is Scattered Light, and this one is in Reflect. You guys, it is such a pretty color. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put a little swatch here. It is that beautiful, can you see right here? Just as it says, Reflect. It's gonna give a little bit of reflection, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna use my finger, and I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna close my eye, and I'm just gonna tap it just on the lid just a little bit of lightness on the lid here. Not too much. Um, can you see that? And then we'll blend this in. It is just a really pretty reflective eye. And I see if you can see that. Isn't that pretty? Let me put that. I'm just doing a little bit, you guys, because I don't want to be too shimmery and then I'm gonna blend this out. Okay, but I can see how it just kind of opened up the eyes just a little bit. Okay, then I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that over. I apologize. Every time I think that I, <laughs> um, I turn off my phone every time and then evidently it is not off. Okay. So you guys, here is that basic eye look. Um, you know, we have Big O in the crease. We have Daddy-O just a little bit 
defined. And then if we want, we can go into that bone color again. And let's go in and we'll put a little bit on the top. We'll just clean this up just a little bit. And that bone just up in the brow bone. Okay. Now, we're gonna use one of my favorite eyeliners that I discussed the other day. I love Ocean Floor. Um, this is from Hourglass, and these are called the 1.5 millimeter uh, gel, mechanical gel eyeliner. You guys, these are like my absolute favorite, um, but they go by quick, okay, good. This is my old one. And you guys, I am going to look in the mirror, but I'm going to try to get as close to possible to my, let me see if I can bring you down just a little here. Okay, I'm going to come as close to my eyelashes as possible and do a little line here. And at the end, I like to go just up slightly. I don't want anything to be... Um, dragging the eye down. I did kind of go a little down. Okay, did you see how that just gave a little pop to the eye? I just love doing navy. This ocean floor is just like my favorite, favorite, favorite. Okay, coming back through and I'm going to go as close as possible to the lash line and these stay all day long. There we go. Eyeliner is the best. Okay, we've got that. And just going through. Okay, now we're almost have my eyes on. I'm gonna go through with a little angled brush. This is from MAC. Uh, okay, I don't know what number that is, but it's an angled brush. And I'm just going to softly smudge it. Just soften the line just a little bit. Okay, next up, we get to do creme de la creme. <laughs> we are gonna put on mascara, my favorite part. Okay, you guys, this is a terribly expensive mascara. This is from Chantecaille Faux de Sils. But the thing I have to do tell you about is it does have um, conditioning eyelash repair in it. It has a serum in it that really does help with create with your eyelashes. I've had several tubes of this. I wait until Nordstrom has that mascara madness where you buy a few of them and then you get one free. That's always a really good time to do that. Um, but I think I will go ahead and show you. This really is a fantastic mascara. It is outrageously expensive, but I do have to say, I felt like it really helped my eyelashes. And I am just going to Everybody has a funny look of how they do there. If we open our mouths, um, and I am going to, oh boy, I hate when I get clumps. Um, <laughs> uh, usually this does not get super clumpy, but I'm having a, okay, I'm just going to kind of work this through until there is no clumps now that I got it all over my eyes. Um, so this one, you guys, I will say I've had good tubes and bad tubes. The first tube I bought, I loved it, loved it, loved it. And it just really did. My, I could literally tell that my eyelashes were, um, doing so much better. And I got a little bit here. Okay. Let's see. Can you see how it's just, it's a lengthening eye mascara. Uh, I'm trying to get down to the bottom of that eyelash and then oh there's just a few of them that want to curl up okay just keep on there we go getting rid of that clump if you keep on playing it will go away <laughs> not playing but okay other eye you guys I try to get it as close to the base and then I just wiggle the base first and then I start rolling the hand as I try to blink. So I am um, base wiggling that base to get down, down, down as close to the lash line as possible. And then I'm going to start rolling as I try to blink. And 
I love, sorry, I know this is very earth shattering. Here it just takes a minute, but everybody has a different technique. And then I literally keep coating until I feel like they're not super clumpy and have the desired look. Okay. All of a sudden I have eyes. <laughs> um, yay. Okay. And then just going to clean up just a little bit. And I will say there is my go-to kind of clean eye look. If you can see, I'm going to come up a little bit closer and I'm going to close my eyes and see what you think. But this is just a really great day-to-day -day eye um, look. A little bit of lightness from that hourglass. Um, and then just as much mascara. Okay, so you guys, from here, I don't tend to do my bottom ones just because I find that I get it in my bags. Um, <laughs> but if you do, just do a little slick of that. And then last but not least, let's put on the uncuffed from... Fenty Beauty. We'll just use what we put on or what I bought from the VIB and then call this a day. So this is a lip paint and I just like to put on an initial little one. Just like that. And um, I just kind of and then I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to lightly stain the lips. Okay. Yes. Let's see if we got it. I'm going to move you up just a little bit. Okay. So this would be my, I did a previous video, video on glowy um, base skin and then my basic clean eye. Um, you guys, my daughter helps me do my, I am not a good eyebrow person, so she's amazing at it. <laughs> so I just asked her to do um, the tail ends, but I am trying to learn how to do eyebrows. So if you guys have any tutorial that you can help me with, that would be great. I just kind of brushed them up and then I, she did like a little on the tail end. I probably wiped some of it off when I was doing my foundation, but anyways. I hope this was a, um, a um, helpful uh, tutorial for my clean eye look, but I am absolutely loving these little Marc Jacobs single eyeshadows. I personally think they're worth it, and they're definitely worth it when you are, if you get them on sale at the VA, at the Sephora sale. So, um, but I am the type who will just use this big O. I will, I can see myself using every single day. Um, daddy -O is just such a pretty color. I just decided to keep it. But if you are going to just get one, I would say big O. Let me tell, show you one more time. It's just a really perfect, neutral, light, matte, brown, perfect crease color. Just perfect. Um, okay. Thank you guys for watching and I look forward to, um, catching up with you soon.